he was not just inefficient as chief minister during the Gujarat riot, but what's come, but what comes out of this book is that Narendra Modi was complicit for his role in the Gujarat okay. riots and the fake encounters. Okay, Sadan, and you've read the book. Do you agree? Do you believe the evidence is there? Does I it bother you? I question the credibility of Rana. Partly because of the method. Even if she's partly, got tapes, partly, which she's willing to hand over to the not, police. Which she has not released. Okay. She still hasn't released them. So what we have is a transcript let of six-year-old interviews let me remind you, let me remind you, where the tapes have not been released. And I just actually that's a great question. I would love her to release Lana, them. Do you want to respond? Uh, Sadaran, I think you are mistaken here. I mean, when you're talking about sting investigation not being taken and not being credible enough, let me tell you that one of the convictions in the in, in the Gujarat riots happened uh, 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 happened because of a sting operation that was conducted in 2007 by the same organization that I used to work with. And the judge and the so judge gave the verdict your, cited the tape, heavily Rana. from the sting operation. Rana, why don't so you, I think why don't you do the simple thing and put the tapes up on a website? What is stopping you from doing that? Isn't that a pretty obvious thing to do? I have approached every possible news channel in this country, every possible news publication, every possible website in the last five years to publish these okay, tapes. I do not have a lawyer. Tomorrow, if I publish them.